What is going on, beautiful people? Guys, today, yes, we are bringing him out. See the dookie right there? See the little bit of dookie right there? See the dookie right there? And see the dookie right there? He's pooped everywhere. He has destroyed his enclosure, so we're going to have to redecorate it, do a nice, really good spot cleaning. Then we're going to move over here and do the same thing for our golden puff adder. Boom. Then we're going to come over here and do our Cape Coral Cobra, but that might be in its own video, guys, because we can have some fun with him. And guys, we got to get some decorations for our baby Mossasaga rattlesnakes. They got their own enclosure. Check them out up there hanging out with each other. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, he is all wound up already. So uh, we're going to take his top off. And he's really hard to hook because he really gets crazy. So I have my grabbers and my hook. So we're going to combine, use these together. Um, lighting is going to be a little off, so bear with me. Not sure if we can get uh, something going on here. Let's see. Yeah. We got some kind of light, guys. Now we get to see what's actually going on. Guys, if you guys have venomous snakes, be careful because this is a dangerous job. Jump, boy. All right, check him out. Ooh, doggy. All right, guys, you got him in there. Get down on him. Look, check, it, check him out, boy. Yeah, he's fleshy. Don't get so close. All right, guys, we're going to put him back in here. All right, guys, we're back. We got it all spot cleaned out. We just got to give them some water to clean the glass and make it more seeable. So, also, guys, when you're changing and cleaning out your venomous snakes, remember they shed their fangs and they swallow their fangs. So, if you go in there and grip up a piece of turd real hard, if you're crazy like that, and that fang's going to stab in you. So, you, know, you don't know if it got dry venom in there. It'll still mess you up a little bit. But I'm going to put this on slightly because once I put him back in there, he goes absolutely nuts. And you guys will see. Alrighty. Stand back, please, and just zoom in a little bit. Safety first, guys. See if we can get in there. <laughs> So I'm going to shoot him that way so I can circle around to the enclosure. Now, I do want to grab a small trash can because for my safety and anybody else that's filming with me, safety, it would be way, way, way better. All right, buddy. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do to get some good shots here. Woo-hoo-hoo, doggy. Calm down, buddy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Guys, he was spicy. Oh, God. He was supposed to be now that. There must have been a little wetness in there. Alright, guys. We're just glad to get him right out of here. It will let me. Guys, you gotta get on now, boy. Ooh, 
we gotta get him to hit it. Guys, yes, indeedy, it does get difficult putting him back in there. Fortunately, we're going to do the golden puff adder next, and he is nowhere as bad. We'll be right back. Guys, now we're back here with the golden puff adder, guys. Did you know the golden puff adder, or the puff adder in general, is the fastest striking venomous snake in the whole wide world? Guys, these guys have a nasty venom. It's not super fast acting but it's really, really hard to treat. So if you ever get tagged by one of these guys, you get to the hospital, because the sooner you get it, the better your chances are gonna be. All right, guys, so we're gonna get him out here for a second. We're gonna have bad lighting for a minute. All right. I'm gonna get a little closer so they can hear the his huffing and puffing. You guys hear that? Just like the Gaboon Viper, these guys, their warning sign is they're huffing and puffing. All right, so typically I don't need my grabbers for this guy. He's just harder to put back in the enclosure. Not only that, but I'm going from above, so that makes it a lot harder. All right, get a close up on him. Beautiful snake, guys. And what's funny is in his enclosure, he looks so much bigger than he actually is outside of the enclosure. Like our tangerine western dimeback, he looks big. But guys, we're going to spot clean this real quick and you guys get to see us put it back in. Be right back. Boom, guys, we're done the golden puff adder. Same thing that we do with uh, the western diamondback. Because this guy likes to get a little wrangly trying to put him back in. He's not bad getting him out, but putting him back in, he is a son of a bugger. We'll just say that. Snake hook. I have my grabbers right here, just in case I need them. Hopefully we don't. I typically don't usually need them. But sometimes he will fall back in and out. Sometimes. All, right. All right, guys, we're going down in here. We're opening that up. Take the first. His fourth baby. Talk to me. Talk to me, Daddy. Let's see if we can get some light action. Woo, look at them colors light up, boy. Listen, bro, you look excellent with that blue behind you. Just want you to know that, okay? I'm but I might be buttering you because I don't want you to try to bite me. But seriously, you look you look sharp. Alright, we'll get that light off of there. All right, now we're going to bring him right back up. Get him in the center of his body, quick up. He'll usually ride the hook once he's up there. And put him right back in, guys. Check that out. Textbook right there, guys. And I'm not even going to sit here and bull, bull crap you. That's the only time he's ever went in there very, very nicely. All the rest of the times, it's crap. He is fighting. He's trying to run out of the enclosure. All that. Get a nice close picture of him. Woo wee hot doggy, he's pretty. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you on the next one.